What if I told y'all that there's a way to make more money as a developer that a lot of folks overlook? Your skills as a developer are more valuable than ever, but I think the better question to ask is, are you truly maximizing your earning potential? And so that's why in this video, I wanna dive into how I can help you unlock your new revenue streams and significantly boost your income as a dev. Whether you're a freelancer, part of our team, or running your own agency, there are always new opportunities to explore. Now, why is this topic so important? The web development industry, or just tech in general, is more competitive than ever, as you can probably tell. And I think diversifying your income stream is essential to staying ahead, and not just staying ahead, I think just surviving in general, knowing where tech layoffs are. If you do work in tech and you're just like me, you could be laid off anytime, even if you're overperforming and doing overwhelmingly well at your job. And so I think that's why it's so important to have multiple streams of income that could potentially make a huge difference in helping you tap into these opportunities and maximizing your earning potential. Think about it. What if you could start earning more money today by simply tweaking the way you work? So the first thing, let's talk about missed opportunities as a developer. Many developers fall into the trap of relying solely on one platform, one technology, or a single type of service offering. I think this alone can lead to stagnation and really limit your income potential. For example, let's say you're mainly a React developer and you have very little experience in backend development. What this will do is limit the kind of projects you can work on, right? But what if you can use another service to handle the backend for you, meaning now you're able to allow a full stack solution? Kind of cool, right? Now, there's no one tool or platform that can do everything you need as your business grows, but at some point, I think it's important to understand that you'll eventually hit a ceiling if you're only using one service or one stack or one technology. And so being able to explore other platforms that integrate well with your current setup can help you avoid these limitations that I've seen limit opportunities for so many different people. Now, let's talk about finding clients. Now, this is a question I get a lot, right? I do have quite a few clients. And just to be transparent with y'all dudes, as of now, I am making quite a bit with my clients. Literally, before taxes, I'm making about $40,000 a month, and that's life-changing money. Now, I do pay a lot of taxes, but this is life-changing. And why? Because I simply decided that I don't want to have one source of income. I don't want to be dependent on being laid off again to, to, to find a new job. I want to make sure that I put myself in a situation where if I lose one job, I'm totally fine because I have other clients. I have to decide business now that makes me more than a full-time job, right? Just kind of crazy. Now, let's answer the question, how do you find clients and where do I find these clients? Well, here's the thing, honestly, I think I go to places you might not even think of because they're right in front of your eyes. I think when folks think about LinkedIn, they only think of it as using that to find a full-time job. No, no, no. LinkedIn is literally my go-to. Funny enough, two thirds of the clients I work with were found through LinkedIn DMs, literally LinkedIn DMs. And I just found another potential client that's willing to pay me 8,000 bucks per month potentially, we're in discussions right now. And how did I find this person? Through LinkedIn. So here's what I do. I go to the job section on LinkedIn and I search for a web developer, front end developer, back end developer, even developer advocate roles. But I don't look for positions at large companies, okay? I don't look at for, for roles at Google or Netflix, or Amazon, you name it. But I actually aim for smaller businesses and startups. Why? Because they have more flexibility. Why? Because they want to spend the least amount of money possible why they need help sooner than later. Where at smaller companies, these tech interviews are much shorter, much more quicker compared to interviewing at the larger tech companies. And so when I look at these job descriptions, I try to see if I can fulfill the role and then I start messaging the recruiter or the hiring manager or sometimes even the COO or co-founder. And usually I prefer to try to contact the, the co-founder who may not have the most extravagant title because they have more time in their hands potentially. And to be honest, y'all, I mean, you'd be surprised how many opportunities are just waiting for you. And what I mean is this, there was a role where this company did not advertise or looking for a new developer. I learned that someone quit that role and literally a week after that person quit, I actually not even a week, a couple days after the person quit, I messaged that person's former manager and asked, hey, I heard, let's just call them Abe. Abe left the company. Do you need help with this role? Like you you already know who I am. Like you know, you, you know me, we've spoken in the past just casually 
through networking actually. And I was like, I can do this for you, right? Do you wanna set up a, a Zoom meeting just to chat and talk about potential things I can do for you and rates that I charge? And this led to an opportunity. The second time I looked at a job, my website, actually this will help you out even that much more. When I go to the career section of a company and they have a particular role that says, don't see your job description, don't see the role that you're looking for, apply anyway. And so I actually did that with one client where the exact same thing. There was no particular role that I thought I could fulfill, but they had that one job description, don't see your position here, apply anyway. And that turned into a client. Right, so, so you'd be surprised again by how many opportunities are just waiting for you, but you need to grab it. You can't just wait for opportunities to come. You need to grab and find those opportunities. Now, I think another great way to find clients is also networking, but to be honest, meetups. I remember when I was a new developer, a junior developer, even mid-level developer, I'd go to meetups all the time. Why? To network and find a job. But now I have a job, I have clients, I'm not there to get a job. So people are not as close hearted to me, right? have close hearts to me, are really more open to speak with me. But now when I go to these meetups, rather than trying to find a job, I'm just trying to find people, make friends with them and casually try to find out, do they need help with something? Are they looking to hire someone? Maybe they don't want to hire someone and pay them full time and then pay them health insurance and you know invest in the Roth IRA or whatever, you know what I mean? What happens when you become a full-time employee? Maybe if they know that they can hire a contractor like me, I can actually help save them money in the long run. And so now when I go to these meetups, it's literally trying to find out who needs to hire someone and how can I let them know, hey, you know what? I actually do some contracting work on the side. If you need me to help write some code for you, yo, you you, you, you know my resume, or now you know my resume because it told you, I can do this for you for much cheaper, man. Just let me know. One example I can think of is when I met one client who was willing to pay a full-time front-end software engineer $160,000 a year. That's about, I think, $13,000 a month. And I offered them, hey, I can do this for you for $9,000 a month, right? There won't be as many meetings, that you probably want with your, your, with your full-time employee, but we can meet every single week and I'll be available to DMs throughout the entire week and I can do this for you, right? And so then that turned into a client and started making my money. And by the way, for those who are wondering, how did I learn all this? Dudes, I was laid off September of last year, almost a year ago, literally almost like, yeah, 11 months ago. And I had to figure out to waste five because my main YouTube channel, brand deals were going down because my channel wasn't performing as well anymore. I, I, I literally, was running out of money. And so I had to figure out a way to do this and this is how I learned it. Now, last but not least, I think another simple way to increase your revenue income, it may not be the biggest jump in revenue, but I think being able to use marketplaces and partnerships, like my friend Joe Coding Phase, he makes templates for this one website. And literally by making these website templates, he now makes like 20K a month. It's kind of crazy. And so I think figuring out a way where you can make potential templates or find a marketplace to help you reach new clients without a lot of upfront effort, I think could go a long way. For instance, um, like the Wix marketplace connects you directly with clients who are specifically looking for web development services. So check that out, okay? So it's like this Wix marketplace that will literally connect you directly with clients who are looking for people to build stuff for them, which means they're already giving you a ready-made audience to tap into. And I think, this is such such an easy way to expand your client base without spending hours like I do on LinkedIn, outreach and cold email, emailing people. I actually hire a salesperson to do this for me now. Um, plus I think being part of a marketplace often gives you more credibility right from the start. So there's, there's a lot of ways on how you can increase your income as a freelancer, a contract, or even just as a web developer in general. There's a lot more ideas that I have. I'll probably include some other videos, but I don't wanna make this video too long, but these are some ideas I think could really help you increase your income on the side, if not full time, and change your life forever the way it's changing mine. Anyway, I hope y'all liked the video. I'll see y'all next one. Peace.